The fundamentals on thermodynamics for paper liquid equilibrium, or let it be any phase equilibrium, is described as follows. The fugacity of component I of the vapor must be equal to the fugacity of component I in the liquid. And remember, fugacity is something pretty similar to pressure or a modification of pressure or the force. You can assume that this is the forces of equilibrium. Uh, of in this specific case, fugacity is not within the scope of this course. This is mostly on thermo thermodynamics course two or physical chemistry. But let us assume for now that fugacity can be modeled as follows. For the vapor phase, let it be species I, can be described as the molar composition of I in the vapor phase, which will be Y. Remember, this is mole of I divided by the total mole of the mixture times the total pressure of the system times this phi or let it be a fugacity coefficient. We're not going to see that much on how this coefficient is calculated, but for now, let it be true. For liquid phase solution, it's pretty similar. The fugacity of component I in the liquid phase will be equal to the component or molar composition of that material. So that will be mole of I divided by the total mole of the liquid phase. This was the gas phase, vapor phase, times the uh, pressure of that component or the saturation point pressure of that component. So this is very different from the total pressure of the system. If we had the system, we will simply add the manometer and that pressure, which is here, plus the atmospheric pressure will be this total pressure. But the pressure or saturation point or saturation pressure is technically at that temperature. This pure substance has a unique saturation pressure. And then we need to calculate the activity coefficient, which relates the, as the name implies, the activity between the molecules in the solution and the fugacity coefficient at that point. Okay. Therefore, we can assume that if this is true, then if we equalize this equation, we get this here. So logically, we have the left side will be vapor, right side will be liquid. We have several things that we might be familiar with. Compositions, that's standard, I think. Total pressure is okay. Saturation pressure, you know, you have heard it before. You can find it in books. Maybe you haven't heard that much on activity, but typical activities for, let's say, ideal solution will be near one. And the things that we are not that familiar, or at least so far, are these two concepts of fugacity coefficients. Now, let me tell you that for a, an ideal solution, this coefficient will be also near to one. And for an ideal gas, this will be near to one. Okay. But the point here is that mathematically, we can manipulate this. So we can send this pressure dividing, we can send this coefficient dividing, we can send uh, or move the fraction to, to the left side and so on. So that's the interesting part that we're going to be doing right now.